Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to ooh, the next episode. In the last episode, we set out to start heading to Colony 9, but also cleaning up some side quests, including fighting a unique monster that was higher level than me. I think it was called like the Clifftop uh, Byron or something like that. And we had a long, epic fight with it. But now I want to clear up at least what remaining quests there are before we go towards where Colony 6 is. So if I want to get to that quest, I need to go... It's moving. So you're probably a unique monster, if I had to guess. Or at least a monster that has an item. That Tarkin's dead, so let's kill you. Let's keep on going like this, guys. Who else wants some? Nope. Right there. Oh, are you it? Is it the Tarkin? Yes, it is. It's Trainer Harmon. You're super tidy! How are you leading these things? You're probably the tiniest Tarkin I've seen in the area! Complete... Quest complete! The area has been freed from the monster and it's safe to visit again. So let's take care of the Berserker Armands. Steady Arms and Chain Gauntlets. Let's take a look. Uh, buff Shulk's Physical, plus has Bleed. What does Bleed do? Nope, that doesn't check what Bleed does. No. No. Do I have to equip it to see what bleed does? Oh, Ryan can equip the steady on. Ooh, yeah. Put that on. I think I will put that on Shulk. What do you do? Reduces bleed damage taken by t uh, 10%. That ain't too bad. I would have caused bleed, but... Let's fight the Tarkins here. And yeah, the physical defense will be good, because I know Shulk, you want to prioritize his physical defense, since he's very weak physically. Which, now that I think about it, makes sense, given that he works in a lab all day. <laughs> Take this guy out. We win. Okay, let's get going. So if I follow this, this should lead to where Ernest's quest is.
It should be about here. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your gun. I can handle this one. This one's like the enemy's weak, but don't drop your gun. Is it actually underneath here? Because I don't see, cause I don't see the grave over there. And steady home. Oh yeah, so it is actually under here. I thought it was up here. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, let's have you equip that, Sharla. Well, while we're up here, let's at the very least look around. Just hang on a second, I just need to check something. Okay, yeah, I do have this episode numbered uh, correctly. Do, 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 do. The epic music is back. This should. Ooh, is this a secret? Yeah! Believer's Paradise! Found another secret location. Also has a heart to heart. Characters I haven't met yet. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Okay, let's drop it down nice and quick. This won't take long. Let's take a dive. And touchdown. Nice. Do not actually dive from that type of height in real life, cause you cause. You would not survive that fall. I think a fall from that high, I hitting water is like hitting concrete. Alright, after misreading where the grave was, let's go and get to that grave and then we'll go find that quest that's apparently here. Hit you free. Okay, so that's where the grave is. I thought it was up there, but... It's Ernest's his friend's grave. Let's place the flowers. What's going on? On it. it's the one that killed his friend. So the arrogant Tarkin, I guess he's here just to mock the grave. If you were low level, he would automatically attack you, but let's get the preemptive. Funny enough, he doesn't count as a unique monster, even though I don't think there are any other Tarkins that go by the name of Arrogant Tarkin. Alright, so we'll need to report, report back to Ernest about it. 
Let's see, so apparently there's like a quest like all the way on the other side of this place, so let's go check it out. Yeah, so it's gonna be a long walk. Is it visible yet on the map? Okay, you're like really far away. Let's engage auto run. Beautiful landscapes. Ooh, I think that there is a landmark, so we'll go grab that real quick. The Sax Guidepost. Alright, he's dead, so just one more to go. Oh, yeah, there's a little alcove here. And of course, she turned around just in time. Ah, we can go down somewhere. Where's this leading me? I don't remember this spot actually. I'm curious. Let's quickly get the ether here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Curious, what's down here? Because I don't remember this spot. Probably going to be some high level enemies I'm going to have to back away from. Yep, not taking you on yet. I'll remember you for later. Ooh, the whole entire map's filled in, so we found all the landmarks. Is that a nopong I see jumping around? Indeed it is. Travel is rest. You come just in time. Grigor, a lost friend. That doesn't sound good. Grigor really worried. He went looking for food for dinner, but he not come back. 
Do you have any idea where he could have gone? Griga tell him not to go too far. He always gets lost. Uh, Griga, uh, I think he's gone very far. He has no sense of direction. He's probably completely lost. Griga already looks so hard. But Griga cannot find him. Please help Griga find friend. Oh god, how do you say that? Baba Tu Baba Tu went off in search of ingredients for Griga R and his dinner. But his poor sense of direction got him lost. Find out where he is. He could be located near Rake Ragnall on the Bionis' leg. His name is Babatu Babatu. He's blue ooh, with stiff fur. No problem, leave it to me. Yep, let's do our best, guys. If anyone grazes their knee, I'll be here to patch them up. Thanks, Sharla. We'll be counting on you. So it says he's near Ragnall Lake. Oh no, we haven't properly filled in all the entirety of the map. I just thought it was because, yeah, looking at the map otherwise. So apparently he's located here. The closest we can probably get is... Yeah, the bridge. We can just dive in the water and swim our way there. And we'll also get a new rifle for Shala, so I presume this will be better than what she currently has. Swim, Shulk, swim! Oh, is he up on that? He's up there, isn't he? Nope! Oh. Let's check without falling into the water. Looks like he is, son of a bitch. Grab the E for deposit. Dee 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 dee. We need to go the long way around. Cause he's up high on a freaking cliff. Where is he? He should be around here. There he is. <laughs> Babadoo Babadoo is out, out on adventure. Have a good time finding food. Grenrook looking for me? Babadoo Babadoo made Grenrook worry. When Baba Doo Baba Doo having a good time, he forgets about everything else. Baba Doo Baba Doo always get lost. Baba Doo Baba Doo always makes trouble. I go back soon. You come too. Oh, you're not gonna take you. Ah. Uh. So we have to manually go back to that camp. Actually, would it be... No, go to higher... Go to upper level. Yeah, it might be faster if I travel to Spiral Valley. 
Oh, by the way, the immovable Gomez is here now, so... Yeah, that's not going to be a fun, fun thing to fight right, later on. Especially since it has a mechanic we've yet to run into yet, which is really fucking annoying. Okay. Please let me grab your item. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Okay, let's sort this out now. Why are we not attacking it? Whoa, that was perfect timing. I used topple right as he got wild down. Now to Traveler's Post. You can now see two Nopon jumping around. Look so happy Bubble 2 Bubble 2 is back. Grow look so happy he asked you to help him. Glad everything worked out. All's well that ends well. Bubble 2 ooh, Bubble 2 never er, ever leave if Grawrook ever again. Grawrook, thank you so much. Bubble 2 Bubble 2 has been found and won't be heading off alone in future. Alright, so we got a rifle. Is that better than what Sharla currently has? No! Not even close. It is worse. Ooh, but Baba 2 has something. Baba 2, Baba 2, want to thank friends. I know you good. Can you help me thank my friends? Do you know about Nopon's secret present? Could you go into more detail? Go on, spill it. Unsure Shulkan Oak will have something up his sleeve. You can help too, Ryan. So I tell you, need Toko eggs to make Nopon's secret present. Also need a Pandora mushroom. Babatube want you to help. This is all very sudden. What will you give your friends? Baba to Baba to make something when you bring egg and mushroom. Then give it to friends. Sounds like a good idea. I'm sure they will be happy. Baba to Baba to think you can easily get these things. Can you help Baba to Baba to? Let me see. So we can get the egg near Sok Og's outpost. And the mushroom from the Windy Cave. I don't know if I've discovered the Windy Cave. I think a can find a, a Toko eggs and eggs in Toko nest near Seek's outpost. I see Pandora mushroom in Windy Cave before. Thank you very much. No problem, leave it to me. Yeah, I'll help too. I love that Shulk's head's tracking the Nopon. So does it show where they are? Okay, so the item is there. I know Ernest is here, and Windy Cave is apparently on Magnell Road. I can't. Oh, maybe it's under here. That would make the most sense. Yeah, I'm gonna have to climb down because I don't think I would survive the. Oh, I might survive this fall. Oh, that was my legs.
I'll have to jump down from over there. Do they go away at night time? Because I am not grabbing that during the day. They're visual, so I might be able to sneak uh, behind them as long as I don't turn around. Probably got an egg. Now let's go find Windy Cave. We'll do this quest and then we'll end off by speaking with Ernest. Yeah, but I think to get to Windy Cave we... Uh, it's not up this way, is it? No, because this just leads to here. Okay. So yeah, it has to be uh, the uh, like underpass here. A humming plum. Oh, and of course there's... I can't do this quest yet, can I? Because everything down here is going to kill me. Alright, so you don't attack. Your sound base... This is Windy Cave. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back and do this quest much later in the game because it's just filled with everything that wants to kill me. So we won't be completing that quest for a very long time. But here's Ernest. So Monster Russia, when you went to put uh, the flowers down, I knew he would be there. Did you take a? Did you take a guy? I am down. Can't thank you enough. It's finally over. Someone lied to me and my friend that there were crystals there. We went, but there was nothing. Then on the way back, we were jumped by a Tarkin. My friend died to protect me. He still gives me nightmares. I haven't been able to trust anyone ever since. But you trusted me and went to put the flowers on his grave. You even got revenge for my friend. Thanks, I really mean it. I'm glad everything worked out. Nice one, Shulk. Let's keep up the good work. Of course. Nothing can stop us once we get going. Here's a little something from me and him. The darkness in earnest is gone. No more dishonest antics from him. I can feel the power. Did we get the grand boots? Uh, will they be good for anybody? Looks like Ryan's going to benefit the most from them. So yeah, we'll end the episode off here. In the next episode, we'll head for Colony 6. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video as, as it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts in this episode. And share the video so that way more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.